you tonight it's seven hobbit meals these are meals these aren't snacks so uh and speaking to that a couple of things uh, just to go over the next couple courses our lamb is from new zealand i you probably figure out where that fits in uh <clears throat> of course in everything we're, we're putting flowers in the salad there's lavender in the, one of the cookies you're getting we try and really think of the way that hobbits would cook when they would ask me like what should i do i'm like yeah just what would a hobbit do so we'd figure you know it'd be dirty or whatever <clears throat> but we actually in our alamo draft house way to really get into things have uh, hired somebody to sort of look at the menu since we're taking on a tour and sort of dissect it for us and tell us more about it so i'm going to bring him out to sort of talk more about hobbits and what they enjoy eating and what their diets are so where i can't see come on out maybe you guys can figure it out this guy He's, uh, he knows a little bit about hobbits. He's uh, been around them. He used to. He slept with them. <laughs> Hi, y'all. I know a thing or two. Just one or two about hobbits. <laughs> hey, have y'all had? Uh, how many meals have you had thus far? Three and a half. So what is that? It's Levens, as you said? They had Lembus right before. Oh, Lembus? Oh, you make Lembus bread? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'll so sustain for long journeys. <laughs> <laughs> it expands in your stomach and can last for days. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Depending on the recipe, I don't know. We make, we make a little scone. We just oh, that's sort of awesome. go British with it, so yeah. Wow. It's like a lemon cherry scone. That is so cool. Yeah, you know. I gotta come out for this meal, because I haven't even looked at it. I know, I know. Well, you know, hopefully, hopefully you'll get the chance. It's like I was telling them, you know. We'll, uh, whatever. So we, you know, I. Uh, the only question I have for uh, Elijah is, where, where in uh, the Shire do you get the best pipe weed? <laughs> would, would, you, would you consider South Farthing? South Farthing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I've heard. I think it's the right. best weed in the Shire. <laughs> excellent, excellent. According to Gandalf, I believe. So, so uh, <laughs> excellent. So what we're gonna do is, you guys. He's Never here. Trust if the anybody, I know you guys. Did, this is sort of a surprise. So if anybody has any questions. I've never really done a Q&A. So. <laughs> You're doing a great job so far. Am I? Am I? I'm trying. I'm, trying you know, I'm, more of a, I'm more of an egg flipper than a Q&A guy. Right. So. And a menu creator. Yes, thanks. The, the movie, the, for this movie, it really, the, the movie kind of writes the menu. It's, it's all so fun. Yeah. I love that you do that here. That's yeah. so yeah. great. Um, I was actually just in this theater for 24 hours. <laughs> Which, y'all are here for 13, right? Yeah. All right, so that's... That's a fair amount of time as well. Um, but I'm really delirious because <laughs> I've not had any sleep at all. Um, it was really great. But I'm a thon. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. I love, I love that you put candles. Are these? Yeah, trying to make it a special thing. Hey, you guys, this is so festive. I'm so glad I could join you for a little bit of this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't see any, any of y'all. Do, um, do you have any questions? Does anybody have a question? Right up top. Yeah, I see you there. Um, so, did you go, ever go on the Milford track in New Zealand? Come. I went to the Milford Sound, yes. Oh, the Which the is really flies. beautiful. What's that? The sand Oh, they're buggers, aren't they? <laughs> They'll get you. They're big, too. And they have those almost parrot-like birds there. The tuas? Kia. 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 Thank you. Um, they're really beautiful. But yeah, the Milford Sound's lovely. Yes, sir. Um, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Not I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> then I won't answer. <laughs> was uh, was there a moment in the movie where you knew it was when you were filming and shooting that you knew it was going to be the best thing ever? And conversely, was there a moment where you knew or you thought to yourself, "This is really silly and could really suck"? <laughs> Never thought that. Um, the best thing ever. I think that that is a two-part concept <laughs> because it I think we, we were thinking about the movies and what the movies could ultimately be and we I think relatively quickly in the process because we went to New Zealand two months before we started shooting we started principal photography in October of 99 I got to New Zealand I think at the end of August of 99 and the first two months were basically rehearsals um, being exposed to all of the design work um, horse training, sword training. And in that process, we, we saw all of the work that Weta had done, um, a lot of the sets that had been built. Bag End was already built at that stage. So just seeing all of that, it kind of brought us all down to the reality of what we were actually about to embark on and the level of 
work and passion and artistry that was involved, which was just so beyond any of us and so extraordinary. So we were kind of convinced that regardless of whether they would be what they kind of became for people in this sort of larger sense, that they were definitely going to be really beautiful uh, pieces of work. Um, and I, I think we all had a sense right away that we were about to embark on something that would be very special for us just in our lives. It was so unique. We were there for 16 months principal photography. We had this intrinsic sense that we would be friends for life and that we were embarking on a journey that was truly unique, unlike anything we've had, we'd had before or, or would have again. Um, and I think that's the thing that stuck with us the most. I mean, we all, we all got tattooed. Um, which was, funnily enough, an idea that I came up with really early on. I just had the sense that it was going to be a profound experience for us. I think like three months in, I was like, you know, we should, we should get tattoos. And they were like, oh. <laughs> Wait, we're three months in, buddy. <laughs> Let's just see how this thing pans out. <laughs> it ended up being great, so. Any more questions? You in the back. Wet and uh, dirty. <laughs> oh, fucking eight, ninety percent. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Either by sweat or just by being moist, generally. <laughs> or, 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 or the fact that the, the wardrobe was still moist from the day prior. Because when we were doing all that stuff on, on uh, like Mount Doom and Mordor, you know, and, and um, Frodo and Sam are, are sweating profusely as they're in this very arid, hot climate. They, to just keep the sweat so they didn't have to keep, like, putting water sprayers on us, they just put baby oil on. So it was like gross baby oil shirts for weeks. Um, and dirt, after we were finished with fellowship, which was the cleanest process, pretty much everything from there on was caked dirt, caked blood, um, dirty little hobbits. <laughs> They make your fingernails look atrocious. Right? Yeah. How did you work on that? I mean, that was... Yeah. That was, it was good. It was. And if you can see in the fellowship, when I put the, when I have the ring for the first time, and I, I'm messing with it under the table at the Prancing Pony, um, Ian McKellen made fun of me. He said, you bite your nails. Elijah. It's there forever. Can't change it. Yes, you, sir. I didn't steal anything. Um, I have, yeah, I have a few things. I've got the, there's a map in Bag End that you'll, like there's a panning shot of the um, living room, main living room in Bag End. And I think they actually kind of pan relatively closely to it. It's a map of Middle Earth that was taken from The Hobbit. So it actually has, um, uh, oh, what's the dragon in The Hobbit? Thank you. Can you believe some good uh, audience to ask these questions? Um, so Smog's in the right-hand corner. It was actually taken from The Hobbit, so I actually have that, that map uh, framed, which is really beautiful. Um, I have the ring. I have, uh, I have a pair of probably molding Hobbit feet. I haven't checked in a, in a while. Uh, I don't know how well the silicone's going to last. Um, and I have a pair of ears. I've got, a, I've got, I've got Sting. Sting. We'll take a couple more. Yes, sir. I know in the commentary you said that you played TIG a lot, one of your favorite games. And <laughs> right, the made-up game that Dom and Bill later told me was made up, that I fully believed was real. <laughs> that they kept making up these new, these new um, directions for the game that would constantly confuse me. <laughs> and I, I just kept trying to follow along. And it just got more and more convoluted till like, it wasn't until maybe a year later they were like, oh yeah, it takes bullshit. <laughs> like, oh, great. But apparently people have like tr actually tried to follow the rules online and take it seriously. So they've inadvertently, out of a joke, created a game, I think. Yes. Oh, yeah, good. Um, God, that's so good. About, I'd say about four questions in, I knew something was amiss. The questions started to get really absurd. Uh, some, maybe, maybe it was 
Oh, it was before the you kick balls. <laughs> and the, the flipper is dead one was also like, whoa, this is definitely not a journalist. <laughs> Um, and my publicist was there, because I was doing all those interviews, um, that one came from a series of interviews that I was doing via satellite, and I couldn't actually see the people interviewing me, hence how they could get me like that. Um, and my publicist was there, and she was like, should I stop it? And I was like, no, no, <laughs> no this is too good. <laughs> I'm going to find out what this is. And it was great. It was a really long night, because we were doing it via satellite while they were doing morning into evening. I was doing it from, like... 8 o'clock at night until 4 in the morning or something. So it was really exhausting, so it brought levity to that experience. I could just keep doing this, so I, I might just take two more and then let you all get on with the movie. What was the best thing about this year? I would say my favorite film was probably True Grit. Um, and I, I just saw Tron and it was fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. It was so good. Um, yeah, we got to we got to see about eight minutes from Rango, which totally blew my mind. I had no idea what to expect out of that. So that's awesome. So I'll take do one more. Right up there. Hi. Did you uh, watch Lost with Dom in it? Were you excited for his role? In that? Yeah. I mean, I started watching it once it started, and I got totally hooked. Like I'm sure all of you did. <laughs> yeah, I was obsessed with that show. Um, and I obviously watched it because he was on it, but then became a huge fan of the show and kept up with it and was just as obsessed as anyone else. I mean, I went online and we did the occasional dig in for even more in-depth nerdy information. <laughs> Which, dude, if you go down that rabbit hole, <laughs> oh man. Well, look, y'all are about to watch probably one of my favorites of the three. Um, this is the extended cut of, of Two Towers, right? This is, um, I prefer this to the theatrical version, as I'm sure all you probably prefer the extended cut. Um, this is a goodie. <laughs> I wish I could, I could stay and watch it with you guys. I haven't yeah, seen these movies in a while. I'm sorry? Oh, do you have open seats? I thought it was sold out. Um, well, like it was spread out. They're eating, they're eating a lot. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you gotta... Yeah. It's like this, yeah. the equivalent of unbuckling your belt buckle. Yes. Yes. Gotta have an extra seat next to you. Yeah. Well, enjoy the, the films um, and, and enjoy the meals that he has provided for you. And Thanks. It's been a pleasure. kept trying to follow along and it just got more and more convoluted till like it wasn't until maybe a year later they're like oh yeah it takes bullshit <laughs> like, oh, great but apparently people have like tr actually tried to follow the rules online and take it seriously so they've inadvertently out of a joke created a game I think yes Oh, yeah, good. Um, God, that's so good. About, I'd say about four questions in, I knew something was amiss. The questions started to get really absurd. Uh, some, maybe, maybe it was, no, it was before the you kick balls. And the, the flipper is dead one was also like, whoa, this is definitely not a journalist. <laughs> Um, and my publicist was there, because I was doing all those interviews, um, that one came from a series of interviews that I was doing via satellite, and I couldn't actually see the people interviewing me, hence how they could get me like that. Um, and my publicist was there, and she was like, should I stop it? And I was like, no, no, <laughs> no this is too good. <laughs> I'm going to find out what this is. And it was great. It was a really long night, because we were doing it via satellite while they were doing morning into evening. I was doing it from, like... 8 o'clock at night until 4 in the morning or something. So it was really exhausting, so it brought levity to that experience. I could just keep doing this, so I, I might just take two more and then let you all get on with the movie. What was the best thing about this year? I would say my favorite film was probably True Grit. Um, and I, I just saw Tron and it was fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. It was so good. 
Um, yeah, we got to and we got to see about eight minutes from Rango, which totally blew my mind. I had no idea what to expect out of that. So that's awesome. So I'll take do one more. Right up there. Hi. In the time it's seven Hobbit meals. These are meals. These aren't snacks. So, uh, and speaking to that, a couple of things uh, just to go over the next couple courses. Our lamb is from New Zealand. I, you probably figure out where that fits in. Uh, <clears throat> of course, in everything we're we're putting. Flowers in the salad, there's lavender in the, one of the cookies you're getting. We try and really think of the way that hobbits would cook. When they would ask me, like, what should I do? I'm like, yeah, just what would a hobbit do? So we'd figure, you know, it'd be dirty or whatever. <clears throat> but we actually, in our Alamo Draft House way to really get into things, have uh, hired somebody to sort of look at the menu since we're taking on tour and sort of dissect it for us and tell us more about it. So I'm going to bring him out to sort of talk more about hobbits and what they enjoy eating and what their diets are, so where I can't see. Come on out, maybe you guys can figure it out. This guy, he's a, he knows a little bit about hobbits. He's uh, been around them. He used to, he slept with them. <laughs> Hi, y'all. I know a thing or two. <laughs> Just one or three about hobbits. <laughs> hey, have y'all had, uh, how many meals have you had thus far? Three and a half. So what is that? It's Lembus, you said. They had Lembus right before. Oh, Lembus? Oh, you make Lembus bread? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that'll sustain stone. for long journeys. <laughs> <laughs> it expands in your stomach and can last for days. <laughs> Excellent. Depending yeah. on the recipe, I don't know. We make we make a little scone. We just oh, that's awesome. British with it, so yeah. Wow. It's like a lemon cherry scone. That is so cool. Yeah, you know. I gotta come out for this meal because I haven't even looked. I know. At I know. Well, you know, hopefully, hopefully you'll get the chance. Like I was telling them, you know. We'll, uh, whatever. So we, you know, I. Uh, the only question I have for uh, Elijah is, where, where in uh, the Shire do you get the best pipe weed? <laughs> where, would, you, would you consider South Farthing? South the best? Farthing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I've heard. I think it's the around. best weed in the Shire. <laughs> excellent, excellent. According to Gandalf, I believe. So, so uh, <laughs> excellent. So what we're gonna do is you guys. Never trust here, the if wizard, anybody, though. I know you guys. Did, this is sort of a surprise. So if anybody has any questions. I've never really done a Q&A. <laughs> You're doing a great job. The first two months were basically rehearsals, um, being exposed to all of the design work, um, horse training, sword training. And in that process, we, we saw all of the work that Weta had done, um, a lot of the sets that had been built. Bag End was already built at that stage. So just seeing all of that, it kind of brought us all down to the reality of what we were actually about to embark on and the level of work and passion and artistry that was involved which was just so beyond any of us and so extraordinary so we were kind of convinced that regardless of whether they would be what they kind of became for people in this sort of larger sense that they were definitely going to be really beautiful uh, pieces of work um, and I, I think we all had a sense right away that we were about to embark on something that would be very special for us just in our lives it was so unique. We were there for 16 months, principal photography. We had this intrinsic sense that we would be friends for life and that we were embarking on a journey that was truly unique, unlike anything we've had, we'd had before or, or would have again. Um, and I think that's the thing that stuck with us the most. I mean, we all, we all got tattooed. Um, which was, funnily enough, an idea that I came up with really early on. I just had the sense that it was going to be a profound experience for us. I think like three months in, I was like, you know, we should... We should get tattoos, and they're like, oh. <laughs> Wait, we're three months in, buddy. <laughs> Let's just see how this thing pans out. <laughs> it ended up being great, so. Any more questions? You in the back. Yeah. What percent of filming did you spend damp and wet and uh, dirty? <laughs> by sweat or just by being moist generally <laughs> or, 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 or the fact that the, the wardrobe was still moist from the day prior because when we were doing all that stuff on on uh, like Mount Doom and Mordor you know and, and um, Frodo and Sam are, are sweating profusely as they're in this very arid hot climate they to just keep the sweat so they didn't have to keep so far I'm more of an egg flipper than a egg right. guy. So, and a menu creator yes thanks the, the movie the, for this movie it really the, the movie kind of writes the menu it's, it's all so fun yeah. I love that you do that here that's yeah. so yeah. great 
Um, I was actually just in this theater for 24 hours. <laughs> Which, y'all are here for 13, right? Yeah. All right, so that's, that's a fair amount of time as well. Um, but I'm really delirious, because <laughs> I've not had any sleep at all. Um, it was really great. Button on the thumb, I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. I love, I love that you put candles. Are these? Yeah, trying to make it a special thing. And you guys, this is so festive. <laughs> so that I could join you for a little bit of this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't see any, any of y'all. Do you have any, um, do you have any questions? And does anybody have a question? Right up top. Yeah, I see you there. Um, so did you go, ever go on the Milford track Here we in New Zealand? I went to the Milford Sound, yes. Which is really boys. beautiful. What's that? The sand oh, they're boys. buggers, aren't they? <laughs> They'll get you. They're big, too. And they have those almost parrot like birds there. The tuas? Kia. 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 Thank you. Um, they're really beautiful. But yeah, Milford sounds lovely. I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Not I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. All right. Then I won't answer. <laughs> Was, uh, was there a moment in the movie where you knew it was when you were filming and shooting that you knew it was going to be the best thing ever? And conversely, was there a moment where you knew or you thought to yourself, this is really silly and could really suck? <laughs> Never thought that. Um, the best thing ever. I think that that is a two part concept. <laughs> because it, I think we, we were thinking about the movies and what the movies could ultimately be. And we, I think relatively quickly in the process. Because we went to New Zealand two months before we started shooting. We started principal photography in October of 99. I got to New Zealand, I think, at the end of August of 99. And, like, putting water sprayers on us, they just put baby oil on. So it was like gross baby oil shirts for weeks. Um, and dirt. After we were finished with fellowship, which was the cleanest process, pretty much everything from there on was caked dirt, caked blood. Um, dirty little hobbits. <laughs> yeah, they make your fingernails look atrocious. I yeah. Mean, you, I, you work on that. I mean, that was... Yeah. That was, it was good. It was. <laughs> and you can see in the fellowship when I put the... When I have the ring for the first time and I, I'm messing with it under the table at the Prancing Pony. Um, Ian McKellen made fun of me. He said, you bite your nails. <laughs> Elijah. It's there forever. Can't change it. <laughs> yes, you, sir. Did you steal any props? I didn't steal anything. <laughs> um, I have, yeah, I have a few things. I've got the, there's a map in Bag End that you'll, like, there's a panning shot of the um, living room, main living room in Bag End. And I think they actually kind of pan relatively closely to it. It's a map of... Middle Earth that was taken from The Hobbit, so it actually has, um, uh, oh, what's the dragon in The Hobbit? Thank you. Can you believe some good uh, audience to ask these questions? Um, so Smog's in the right-hand corner. It was actually taken from The Hobbit, so I actually have that, that map uh, framed, which is really beautiful. Um, I have the ring. I have, uh, I have a pair of probably molding Hobbit feet. I haven't checked in a while. Uh, I don't know how well the silicone's gonna last. Um, and I have a pair of ears. I've got a. I've got, I've got sting. sting. We'll take a couple more. Yes, sir. I know in the commentary you said that you played Tig a lot. One of your favorite games. And <laughs> right, the made up game that Dom and Bill later told me was made up, that I fully believed was real. That they kept making up these <laughs> new these new um, directions for the game that would constantly confuse